Now, these are real demos. This is actually working in front of you, which I think is fantastic. So next, Ganesh. Yep. Uh, now, this is exciting. He's going to be talking about Apache and NiFi integration. So if you are ready, go. I am. OK. So before you can integrate and harmonize data in Mark Logic, you have to be able to ingest it into Mark Logic so that you can operationalize all your data. Joe Pasqua yesterday talked about Apache NiFi and why we are excited about embracing that technology to enable our customers to be easily to, to be able to easily integrate, or get all your data from your silos, put it in Mark Logic, and harmonize it. Now, what is NiFi or what's Apache NiFi? NiFi was a technology actually developed by National Security Agency to manage execute configure flow of data between disparate systems. Um, as is the want of NSA, they developed this technology or architected this in a very secure, uh, robust, scalable manner, also with extension capabilities in mind. So all the things that we at MarkLogic care about also, secure, scalable, robust, all those things. And they did this in a very extensible fashion um, so that what the community then did, okay, what they did in 2015 was donate this to Apache or Software Foundation and open sourced it. The community came around this software, developed what are called processors. Processors are the components that actually do all the work. So, for example, you can have a processor to fetch data from a data system, ingest it in another data system, maybe do some lightweight transforms along the way. So you can line up these processors together and execute your data flow. The community came around created over about 50 plus processors that are available today. And there is also a very easy to use drag and drop UI that lets you uh, uh, set up this workflow, execute it. If you want, you can schedule it, all those good things. So I'll show that in a, in a, in a demo uh, very soon. Now, what does this give us? And oh, by the way, uh, we, I said we've embraced this. So we have two processors available, a put mark logic processor to put mark, uh, data into mark logic a query mark logic processor to query data from mark logic that's available in our github community and you can try it out so what this gives us is these processors actually give access to a lot more number of data sources data systems from which you can fetch data and put it into mark logic so for example if you have your hadoop lake you want to get data from there whether it's hbase hdfs there are processors available hook them up fetch data line them up get it into mark logic same thing with your relational databases. The cool thing here is just with the SQL and JDBC processors, you now have access to Oracle, MySQL, uh, PostgreSQL, that's the demo I'm gonna be using or the database I'm gonna be using. Uh, all these databases are available for you to fetch data through the JDBC or SQL processor and then ingest that into Mark Logic. So that's really powerful. And what you see on the right hand side, think of that as our operational data hub. Uh, what you see out there. So that's where everything gets into and you can harmonize and integrate it. So now I'll move on to my demo. And again, it's live. So I'm praying that the demo gods are going to help me. Um, so this is the blank slate. This is what, let's say you install Apache NiFi, you boot it up, you go to whatever port you have set it up against. This is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is drag a processor. I want to fetch content from a SQL database, Postgres in this case. So I choose that, and then I set it up. I've already set up my connection service to Postgres uh, SQL Server based on JDBC driver, so I'm set. Then I will say, what's my query? Actually, the query I'm going to execute is this. It returns about 830 rows. So I will cut and paste this query. That's what I'm going to execute to fetch data from my Postgres server. Everything I'm going to keep it as is. I can schedule my job. For this demo, I'm going to say, just pick up things once a week. And I'm, go I'm also going to say, if there are any failures, just abort the flow. That's what I'm doing there. And then now I'm going to put things into Mark Logic. So I choose the put Mark Logic processor. And actually, let me search for Mark Logic. So you would see the two processors I mentioned that are available. So I choose put Mark Logic processor. I set it up again. I do the connection services. Our processors are based on data movement SDK. Um, so all the things that you see here, quite a number of things are what you can specify through our data movement SDK APIs as well. So uh, and in this case, I'm going to say data is going to come as JSON, and then say 
the file names, the document names have a JSON extension. That's it. Now, execute SQL returns data in Avro format. What I want to do is convert them to, into JSON before I get into Mark logic. So I've created using a feature called templates. A template that takes Avro formatted files, splits them into records. Each record becomes a JSON structure, and that JSON structure gets ingested into Mark logic. So that's what I'm doing with that template. Split it, convert it to JSON, put that in Mark logic. Now I have all these components or processors. I just line them up. I say on success of the SQL execution, send it to this processor, split Avro, and once it's converted, send it to Mark Logic on success. And then here, Mark Logic, I'm going to say when everything succeeds, just stop the flow. That's it. I'm really hoping it works. I didn't miss any steps. Uh, let's see. So I have nothing in my database. Now I'm going to say execute. Okay. And I have, let me refresh this. Let me actually see if anything got in. Oops. Let me take a, let me do it again. Okay, there you go. Um, so you see 830 rows here, all took about three minutes to do this. This was really cool when, I mean, when, um, when I knew about this technology and what we can do with it, I mean, blew my mind. Very easy to use. Please go try it out. Um, we have these processors available as part of our Mark Logic uh, in our GitHub community. And the URLs are there in my presentation. You can go take a look at it. The source code is also available. Uh, sometime very soon, these will be available as part of Apache NiFi download itself. So you don't have to do anything extra. Just install NiFi. You would get our processors out there. So try it out. Let us know how it worked. Needs. On the money. <laughs> well, you planned that, didn't you? <laughs> no, no. Believe me, the, the rehearsals didn't go well. So, Ganesh, uh, uh, I believe NiFi tracks prominence, right? Yep. Can you speak a bit more about that? Yeah. So I talked about scalability, robustness, all those things. The, another cool thing is NiFi actually tracks provenance or lineage. The things I was showing in the flow, fetching data, routing it through, all those things actually they capture and they save it in their own database. Um, but once it comes into our data hub, we also, track, we also track provenance. So eventually what you can do is write from the source data system till it's served to your business applications downstream, you can actually track provenance and lineage. So that's again another uh, very cool thing about this technology. Fantastic, thank you Ganesh. Thanks Paul. Yeah. <laughs>